ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Shrimad Bhagavatam Canto 7 Chapter 9 Prahlad pacifies the Lord with prayers text number 17 Yasmat priya priyo yog viyogam sayoga janma Shokan शोकन नीना सकलाय निशुदाय मानहा दुखाव शदम थरपी दुखाम आता दियाहम पुमान ब्रह्मानी वरमे शोकाशुदयम दुखोषदम थरपी दुखम अथियाहम पुमान ब्रह्मा वर मे तब दोगम अस्मा प्रिया प्रियो प्रियो वियोग जन्म शोकाइना सकायो निषुदाय मन दुखौषदम थरपी दुखम थरा दिया पुमान ब्रह्मा विदा मे तब दोगम यस्मा प्रिया प्रियो वियोग संयोग जन्म शोकाइना सकलासो निषुदा मन दुखौषदम थरपी दुखम थम पुमान ब्रह्मा वर मे तब दोगम यस्मा प्रिया प्रियो वियोग संयोग जन्म शोकानिना सकलो निषुदाय मन दुखौषदम थरपी दुखम अथियाहम पुमान ब्रह्मा वर मे तब दोगम मारे यस्मा प्रिया प्रिया वियोग विषम जन्म शोकानिना सकलो निषुदाय मन दुखौषदम अरपी दुखम आथ दिया पुमान ब्रह्म निवर मे तब दोगम बिकॉज ऑफ विच बिकॉज ऑफ एक्जिस्टिंग इन द मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड प्रिया प्लीजिंग आ प्रिया नॉट प्लीजिंग वियोग बाय सेपरेशन 
Samyoga and combination. Janma, whose birth. Shoka Agnini, Shoka Agnina. By the fire of lamentation. Sakala Yonishu. In any type of body. Dayamanha. Being burnt. Actually, being burned. Being burned. Dukkha Aosadam. Remedial measures for a miserable life. Tat. That. Api. Also. Dukham. Suffering. Atat diya. By accepting the body as the self. Aham. I. Buman. O great one. Brahmami, I am wonder, wan, wandering. I am wandering within the cycle of birth and death. Vada, kindly instruct. May unto me. Tava, your. Dasyam yogam. Activities of service. O oh, Great One, O oh, Supreme Lord, because of combination with pleasing and displeasing circumstances, because of separation from them, one is placed in a most regrettable position within heavenly or hellish planets as if burning in a fire of lamentation. Although there are many remedies by which to get out of miserable life, any such remedies in the material world are more miserable than the miseries themselves. Therefore, I think that the only remedy is to engage in your service. Kindly instruct me in such service. For what Prahlad Maharaj aspired to engage in the service of the lotus feet of the Lord. After the death of his father, who was materially very opulent, Prahlad would have inherited his, inherited his father's property, which extended throughout the world. For Prahlad Maharaj is not inclined to accept such material opulence. For whether one is in the heavenly or hellish planets, or in a rich or poor man's sun, material conditions are always, are everywhere. Therefore, no condition of life is at all pleasing. One wants the uncontaminated pleasure of blissful life. He must engage himself in the transcendent loving service to the Lord. Material opulence may be somewhat pleasing for the time being, but to come to that temporary pleasing condition, one must work extremely hard. When a poor man is, is rich, he may be better situated, but to come to that position, he has to accept many miseries. The fact is that in material life, whether one is in miserable or happy, both conditions are miserable. One actually wants happy, blissful life, one must become Krishna conscious and constantly engage in the transcendent loving service of the Lord. That is the real remedy. The entire world is under the illusion that people will be happy by advancing materialistic measures to counteract the miseries of conditioned life. But this attempt will be, never be successful. Humanity must be trained to engage in the transcendent loving service of the Lord. That is the purpose of the Krishna consciousness movement. There can be no happiness in changing one's material conditions, for everywhere there is trouble and misery. Tasmat priya priya vi yoga sam yoga janma shokagnina sakala yoni shudayamana dukosha dam tarapi dukam tadiyaham puman brahmami varame Tavadasya Yogam. O Great One, O Supreme Lord, because of combination with pleasing and displeasing circumstances and because of separation from them, one is placed in a most regrettable position within heavenly or hellish planets as if burning in a fire of lamentation. 
Although there are many remedies by which we get out of miserable life, any such remedies in the material world are more miserable than the miseries themselves. Therefore, I think that the only remedy is to engage in your service, kindly instruct me in such service. Mong Vishnu Vraya Krishna Pristai Bhutta Shri Mate Bhakti Viranta Swami Tanamane Namaste Sarasvatun Deve Gauravani Pacharane Nirvi Shesha Shunyavadi Paskya Dhyade Sitarane Quite a revolutionary conception that there's no happiness in the mature world. This is probably the part of our philosophy that will disappoint 99.99% of the people in this world. And even if they hear it, even if we hear it, still we don't accept it anyhow, so it makes no difference. Because everyone has come to the mature world to find the same happiness that Krishna has in his pastimes. The only difference is we want to replace Krishna in his pastimes. We want to imagine that we're the center of the rasa dance. But actually, we never become the center of the rasa dance because we're not the body. And all we're doing is observing the body, just like watching a movie. Only this is a much better movie than any producer can can create in the modern society because this is the maximum in virtual reality. We're sitting there in the heart, core of the heart, one ten thousandth the size of the tip here in size. Our consciousness perv- pervades the entire body, just like the sun lights up the whole universe with its sunshine. Although the sun may be one place, still its sunshine is everywhere. Similarly, although we are cells are in one place, our consciousness is is pervading the entire body, or at least most of the body, to some extent. And therefore, because we're not only absorbed in experiencing our gross body, but we're also absorbed in experiencing the subtle body, our mind, our intelligence, and our false ego. And therefore, we're imagining that when the body is doing something, that that's me doing it. So this is better known as illusion. Now, even if we hear an illusion, it may not make any difference because that's what it means to be an illusion. You don't see that you're an illusion. If you saw you were an illusion, then you wouldn't be an illusion anymore. Therefore, Krishna says, Nanyang gunebhyas kartaram drashteva nupashiti gunebhyas shraparam veti madhvavam sudhigachiti When you can see actually see with your eyes that there's no difference between nainam uh, gunabhyas kartharam. When you see that in all activities, only the three modes of material nature are active and that the Supreme Lord is transcendental to all these modes, then you can know my, my supreme identity, my supreme nature. In other words, as long as we're identifying ourselves with the activities of this gross and subtle body, then we must be an illusion. And if we're an illusion, we can't be under the spell, under the influence of the internal energy. As soon as the internal energy is there, the illusion goes away, at least to some extent. Therefore, in our choices, we have to see whether or not I'm choosing to enjoy in the material world or utilize the world in Krishna's service. Now, when we're trying to utilize the world in Krishna's service, that doesn't mean that we negate all sense pleasure because we can eat for Krishna, we can sleep for Krishna, we can even mate and defend for Krishna. But it has to be for Krishna. And according to our sincerity, and engaging in Krishna's service and those activities, to that extent, we become conscious of Krishna. And then we can see what's the difference between material experience and material ex- and spiritual experience. Right now, because we're absorbed in material experience, well, therefore, we think it's the only reality. And therefore, we think it may be the highest reality. 
because we have no something to compare it, we have nothing to compare it with. Therefore, Krishna says, Vishai Vinivartante, Nira Harasi Dehina, Rasavar Jam Rasopyasya, Ram Drishva Nivartate. The embodied soul may be restricted from sense enjoyment, though the taste for sense objects remains, but ceasing such engagements by experiencing a higher taste, one becomes fixed in consciousness. So that's what we're striving for. That's what we have to obtain is that higher taste. And we get that higher taste. At least we have some direction forward where we should be going. Otherwise, if Krishna consciousness just remains on some kind of theoretical platform, that it's all blissful. How you feel? Oh, I'm blissful. You look morose. Well, actually, I'm morose. But anyhow, I'm, gay. I'm supposed to be blissful. So officially, I'm blissful. Just to make sure that everyone realizes I'm I'm a devotee. I'm a pure devotee. Mm. So I should be blissful. Brahma Bhuta Prasanatma. Even at the stage of giving up hankering lamentation, one actually begins to become happy, blissful at least. In other words, if we just chant our rounds and we listen with some attention for 15 or 20 seconds, then we'll become free from some of our at least mental anxiety. And that's a higher taste. Speculating this will happen, that will happen, when will this will happen, why that happen, is just a waste of time. Of course, we should make some plans, like the house is on fire. We should make plans to open the door and run out. It's not making plans, is a complete waste of time. But when the house is not on fire, and we're making all kinds of elaborate plans, if the house was on fire, and spending our whole time waiting for the house to be on fire, and it's never on fire, then we just wasted our time. And at the end, we die anyhow, whether the house is on fire or not. <laughs> Therefore, tasyaiva heto prayate te kovido, talabhyate yad, talabhyate yad brahmatam upariyata, nalabhyate, Brahmita, Yad Brahmatamu Pariyata. Talabhyate Dukavad Ayyataksukam Kayena Kalena Sarvatma Gabira Ramahasa. That one should not waste his life. Those who are actually intelligent and philosophically inclined should endeavor only for that purposeful end, which is not obtainable even by wandering from, one, from the topmost planet Brahmaloka down to the lowest planet, Patala. As far as happiness derived from sense enjoyment is concerned, can be obtained automatically in due course of time, just as in the course of time we obtain miseries, even though we do not desire them. In other words, this is pointing out devotional service. We should engage in service to Krishna, which is a good start. We should do what Krishna wants us to do. And then we should try to do it with some attention. It's not that suddenly we're going to just fall over in ecstasy when we're doing devotional service. One day I'll chant japa and Krishna will appear before me and I'll faint and the devotees will think I fell asleep, but actually I was in ecstasy. That's not the way it works. We have to do the activity like we have to go come to the program, like you've kindly come to this program. So our body is here. Now the next thing is to bring our mind here also. And that takes intelligence, that we have to become convinced that all these different dreams I have, let me put them aside for at least another 10 minutes and try to hear what's being said. Now, we can hear what's being said, and we can think, oh, I don't like that at all. This guy's a rascal. Why is he telling me that? <laughs> so we can finally hear, and we think, wow, well, that's not for me. I think I do want to become God. Maybe we should go somewhere else where they say, friends, Romans, countrymen, you're all God. You just have, you've forgotten it. And this is an easy path. You chant my name and give me some dakshin and I'll make you God in six months. Yeah, die, yeah. That's work for him, you know. Not like that Hare Krishna movement where we become a servant of God. How disgusting. Servant to the servant to the servant of God. They kept on going for an hour. They just kept on serving. 
I'm tired of being a servant. I want to become the master. So that's our choice. We can voluntarily accept the process, engage in it, try and focus our mind on it, and then we have to become happy becoming the servant of the servant, trying to actually serve Krishna, have a positive attitude, positive consciousness, appreciative attitude, or care and attention, or something that elevates our consciousness, at least to the mode of goodness, and then maybe by Krishna's mercy, he'll reveal himself to some extent and will understand what our what a spiritual consciousness would be like. Now, if we don't do our, we don't come to the program, we don't do our service, we don't try and pay our attention to what we're doing, we don't try to do it happily, enthusiastically, carefully, attentively, uh, then, and we wonder why isn't Krishna reciprocating with us? Because he can't, well, he could, but we wouldn't fit in. We'd be the only morose people in Krishna consciousness. So we had, in order to enter into fire, one has to become like fire. To enter into the spiritual realm of experience, one has to become spiritual. And all we can do is make an effort. And then when Krishna is pleased by our effort, that we're actually paying attention, we're doing the right thing, we're doing what he wants us to do, we're paying attention, we're trying to please it, do it to please him and his devotees with care and attention, with appreciation, then the result is Krishna may reciprocate and then we can experience a higher taste. And then we'll understand a little bit closer, we'll have a closer understanding of what devotional service actually means rather than just a name. It'll be some, it'll be activity with devotion to Krishna. Now we can use the word, we can, but it doesn't, it only means as much as our experience has revealed to us. To that extent, we can understand what devotional service means. Otherwise, it just remains a theoretical concept. In any case, we've come to the right place. Because you, you can come up and down the material world from Brahma Loka down to Patala Loka. And you can keep on searching. You'll never find anything. Of course, if you go up to Brahma Loka, Brahma's relatively quite happy. He's the top of the universe. But he's also in anxiety because he has to leave his body. And for him, it's a very short period of time because he's enjoying like anything compared to us. So time just goes very quickly for him. And for us here, we're suffering. We think, oh, I got such a long time. You know, we have a long time to suffer. <laughs> we're actually enjoying then we, the time would go quick. But because we're suffering so much, therefore time is going seemingly very slow, although it's actually going extremely rapidly. We just have to become convinced that all my plans for this life and the next life, I should set them aside at least when I'm chanting Japa, and then maybe if I can get a higher taste, I could apply that within my service during the day and try to become Krishna conscious. Then this human form of life, even if we don't become perfect in this lifetime, at least we didn't completely waste it just making plans that will never be fulfilled. Plans become happy. We may get what we want. We may get that Christmas present I was dreaming about, you know, the rec the uh, the talking doll or something, whatever it may be. But I'll get tired of it after some time. Just like nowadays, you can see the children, they're, at least in America I know, they're completely spoiled. You go into some house for a program and they have a separate room for the toys of the children. And he has everything there. You know, he has a house, you know, a toy house. He has all kinds of electronic games. He has a toy train and he, he has everything. And he's completely bored because he's, he's broken all the toys. He, he tried to play with them. It didn't give him any happiness. He broke them. It didn't make, give him any happiness. <laughs> he broke his friend's toys. He didn't, he still didn't get any happiness. So he's gotten so much, he's spoiled. When I was young, he used to play with pennies. 
<laughs> that was the technology. That was the amount of technological advancement there was at that time. Pennies means those tiny little things. So people have so much facility, but they're still bored. So many cars, so many games, so many different things, and they're always hankering. When's when's the new one going to come out? Because the old one, they've gotten tired of. Punak Punas Charvita Charvinana. And in order to get it, they got to go through so much misery. And they're working so hard, they don't even have time to play with it. They got to play with it during their job. And then they, the, the, the boss is monitoring their work and finds out that this guy's just playing computer games all day long. <laughs> His work, fire him. So we want to enjoy, we want to work to enjoy, and we're always disappointed. We never get back what we put in, and what we get back is not what we expected. Every Christmas, people are expecting some big present, some big, and they always get, you know, they get what, no one ever gives them what they want. <laughs> they got to return and try and get a refund so they can scrape together enough money to get one thing that they wanted. Because they're missing Krishna, if they had Krishna devotional service, which is the process of getting Krishna, then they'll actually won't be disappointed. Like Dhruva Maharaj, he was trying to get a kingdom greater than that of his great-grandfather, who has the whole universe, Lord Brahma. And finally, when he met Krishna, he wasn't disappointed anymore. He said, getting a kingdom greater than that of my grandfather it was just like some broken pieces of glass, but now I found a diamond like you, and therefore I don't need anything. So I'll stop there. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Hare Krishna. Could you do that again? Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> After the class. <laughs> Maharaj mentioned that <clears throat> how we should endeavor to raise our consciousness. Luckily, for, luckily first to the Sattva Gun and then Hopefully. Well, let's try for Roger Gun. Yes. <laughs> 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 Wake up. <laughs> um, it is said in Bhagavatam that in this age, Manda Sumanda Mata Yomanda Bhagya Upadrutaha, that people don't have much adhikar, always anxiety, disturbed, lamenting, and that. How much this conditioning in the form of Parabdha Karma and the, and the fact that we're in the age of Kali, how that influence our hope that we can come to this stage to be eligible for, for, to properly practice devotional service, which ultimately gives result. How much that conditioning influence our... It depends how much we want to accept it. It's like, as I always say, you grab hold of a tree and say, let me go, let me go. But the tree's not holding on to you, you're holding on to the tree. You don't have to be, no one has to be manda sumanda matiyo. We accept the real thing and we try, then we'll get over it, then we won't be affected by these things after some time. But still, we see after, you know, many years of... Never, we still have these habits. Yeah, because of, we don't want to give them up. We don't want to actually follow the process. That's why we have class every day. <laughs> Reveal to us what the process is. Otherwise, we're walking around thinking we're, we're doing devotional service when we're, you know, very faithfully serving the illusory energy. This means, this, this means that we are insincere or? It means we're, we're foolish. We're the lowest among mankind. Our knowledge is <laughs> by illusion. We're taking the atheistic nature of demons. <laughs> we're sincere, but we're sincere about the wrong things. 
we think there's actually going to be, you know, something bright prospect in the future. The carrot is just one inch away. We just have to run a little faster after it. Although it's hanging in front of us. We'll never catch it. But we believe. Anyhow, if I'm sincere, I'll get it. <laughs> Therefore, a lot of the, sometimes we can have a class. We can talk about all kinds of pastimes. Yes, yes, I know. It's so wonderful. It's joy. Then we actually, what we should hear about is wake up. You're, you're asleep. We're asleep. We should wake up. We hear, then if we hear that, we might think, well, maybe it's true. Maybe I am asleep. Maybe I should wake up. How should I wake up? And then we'll make some progress. Otherwise, we walk away. We think, yeah, I'm a great devotee. We're all great devotees. Everything's so nice. You know, we'll never wake up. We're just an illusion. So complacency makes us the mode of ignorance. We oh. actually were full of illusions of who I am, what's what's going on. Yeah, well, we have to hear the reality. And then we think about it and then see what I can do to change my conception of things. Not we can't change it. What I can do to please Krishna so that he can change my conception. Mm. One can d- obtain divine life in a moment, but not after millions of years. It's only a question of understanding and accepting the fact. We have to rely on Krishna. If we do that, then he can change things. So more dependence on Krishna's mercy and... Uh, yeah, and then follow, you know, Krishna's mercy is obtained by following Krishna's instructions. Finding out what Krishna wants us to do, what he wants us to think, how he wants us to see things, what mood we should be in. And then Krishna will, will reciprocate with us accordingly. How to obtain the proper mood? Well, first we have to do the right activities. Then we have to have the right conception. Well, I guess the first thing is the right conception, the right activities, the right attitude of trying to surrender, care and attention, and then try to do find out what Krishna wants us to do, try to do it to please him. And then Krishna, then Krishna will allow us to think about him. So as I said, Sambandha means accept that everything here belongs to Krishna. And then think about what Krishna wants me to do with his energies and find out from Guru, Sadhu, and Shastra. Confirm it. And the, well, actually confirm there's the super soul in the heart. When it's clear, then do it to please him. Do it in such a way as that with care and attention, with enthusiasm and steadiness, whatever it will take to please Krishna. And then the result is we should think about him spontaneously. And that's 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 best we can do. There's nothing better than that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Gandhara Shimad Bhagavatam Kijai, Shri Prabhupada Kijai, Guru Pimananda.